What if a wolf were the size of a lion? Who would win? Lions are the kings of the jungle, known for their powerful roar, majestic mane, and impressive hunting skills. Wolves, on the other hand, are masters of teamwork, using their pack mentality to take down prey much larger than themselves. So what happens when we pit these two formidable predators against each other, but with a twist? Let's imagine that our wolf has grown to the size of a lion. How would this change affect the outcome of the battle? So without further ado, let's begin. Wolf versus Lion Size For this video, we'll be using the Grey Wolf and the African Lion. Let's quickly go over the existing size difference between the Grey Wolf and the African Lion to figure out how big our wolf needs to be so that it can take on the lion in a head-to-head -head battle. Adult Grey Wolves typically weigh between 50 to 100 pounds 22 to 45 kilograms. In contrast, the African lion, particularly the adult males with their distinctive manes, are notably larger, with weights ranging between 330 to 550 pounds, 150 to 250 kilograms. So, for the wolf to beat the lion, we would have to grow it to about the same size. Let's say that our hypothetical gray wolf is now 440 pounds, 200 kilograms. Would the elimination of the size difference be enough for the gray wolf to win against the African lion? We'll just have to wait and watch. Day-to-day -day life. The larger size of the gray wolf will come with its own problems that the canine will need to adapt to. Let me explain. One of the immediate consequences of the enlarged size would be a shift in the wolf's ecological niche. Wolves in their natural state are well adapted to hunting smaller to medium-sized prey, flying on cooperative strategies within a pack. With the lion-eye stature, the hypothetical wolf would likely have to target larger prey. This shift might lead to a change in the wolf's range and territory as it seeks out habitats that can support a diet of larger herbivores. Furthermore, the interactions between the wolf and other predators in its ecosystem would be interesting. While wolves are known for their cooperative hunting strategies, the increased size might make the hypothetical wolf less dependent on pack assistance and more capable of tackling larger prey individually. This shift in hunting behavior could potentially alter the dynamics with other predators, challenging the existing balance in the ecosystem. Social dynamics within the wolf pack would likely undergo transformation as well. In a standard wolf pack, there is a hierarchical structure with dominant and subordinate individuals. The introduction of a significantly larger wolf could disrupt this hierarchy, leading to a re-establishment of dominance based on the altered physical prowess of the enlarged individual. Physical Enhancements A series of physical enhancements would occur within the wolf if it were to increase in size. The first and most apparent alteration would be the wolf's overall body size. The skeletal structure would need reinforcement to bear the additional mass, resulting in thicker bones and a sturdier frame. Simultaneously, the musculature would undergo substantial development to furnish the strength necessary for tackling larger prey and supporting the increased body weight. Another one of the changes that would occur would be in the wolf's dentition. Wolves renowned for their sharp teeth would see a proportional enlargement of their canines and incisors to match the larger jaw structure. This adaptation is crucial for delivering more forceful bites capable of subduing 
and incapacitating larger prey. Accompanying the enlarged teeth, the wolf's jaw strength and structure would undergo significant enhancements. A more robust jaw would be essential for piercing through the tougher hides and bones of larger animals. This augmentation would serve not only in capturing prey, but also in defending territory and asserting dominance within the ecosystem. While wolves already possess a formidable bite of around 400 PSI, it's safe to say that the massive canine would have a bite force of at least 800 PSI. The structure of the claws might evolve to become thicker and more robust, capable of withstanding the additional stress exerted by the larger body size. Size often correlates with changes in speed and agility as well. The lionized wolf would be no exception. While larger animals generally face challenges in maintaining high speeds and agility, evolutionary pressures might favor a balance between size and mobility. The wolf's limbs, muscles, and skeletal structure would adapt to preserve a remarkable level of swiftness, ensuring the predator remains adept at pursuing and catching prey. In its enlarged form, a gray wolf can typically run at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour. With the increase in size, but also the increase in the musculature of the wolf, the running speed might rise up to 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour. The sensory apparatus of the giant wolf would also undergo refinements to cope with the challenges of a larger territory. The keen sense of smell and acute hearing already prominent in gray wolves might see enhancements. A larger nose and ears could extend the wolf's detection range, allowing it to sense prey, competitors, or potential threats over greater distances. These sensory adaptations would be crucial for navigating the expanded territory. If efficient, the cardiovascular system would be another focal point of adaptation. With a larger body demanding increased oxygen and nutrient delivery, the wolf's circulatory system would evolve to accommodate these heightened requirements. A more efficient cardiovascular system featuring a larger heart and robust blood vessels would be essential for sustaining the wolf's heightened activity levels and stamina during hunts. Wolf versus Lion. The stage is now set for a confrontation between the enhanced gray wolf and an actual African lion, both predators accustomed to being apex hunters in their ecosystems. They size each other up, and the air is thick with growls and snarls as they engage in vocalizations and dominance displays. The lionized wolf, now showcasing a potentially more solitary and assertive demeanor, takes the initiative in the confrontation. Its larger frame, equipped with powerful jaws and formidable teeth, displays newfound confidence. The African lion, a seasoned predator with a rich history of defending its territory, responds with a mix of caution and readiness. The lion, while possessing its own arsenal of hunting adaptations and a well-honed instinct for confrontations, has never seen a wolf this large before. It needs to be ready to either fight to the death or run for its life. The clash commences, marked by a dance of agility, strength, and strategy. The lionized wolf, utilizing its potentially enhanced bite force and weaponry, seeks to capitalize on its newfound size advantage by charging directly at the lion. It aims its precise bites, attempting to exploit the vulnerabilities of the lion on its backside. Meanwhile, the African lion, drawing on its experience and cooperative hunting background, employs strategic maneuvers to evade the wolf's attacks and deliver calculated counter-strikes. The battleground becomes an arena of power and precision. 
with both predators showcasing their evolutionary adaptations. The wolf's larger size allows it to absorb some of the lion's attacks, and its robust frame provides a formidable defense. However, the lion's agility and experience in hunting strategies offer opportunities to outmaneuver the wolf and deliver effective counterattacks. In the end, the lion would definitely be victorious. Even if the size of the wolf surprises the lion, consider that lions, just like other big cats, can also prey on larger animals alone. The agility of a big cat is incomparable to that of a canid, plus they have the advantage of claws.